2 2-0 is the question here. So let's have a see what goes down. Yeah, here we go. Map number two, DSG on a map that's been not so great for them. The only map that's been not so great for them across this entire split. And they're going to have to get done with it in the second spot itself of this best of five. Does it take a turn for the better for them? Or will RDA continue their icebox dominance? We're going to about to find out. It's going to be RDA going in towards that A stack, it seems, with a four-man stack, but you've got DSG making the exact right read of moving into the B side, which has been completely vacated for them, except for the Doctor only, who's gonna spam down with a spike here, does get a chunk of damage onto Styron, but nothing else. All about that weight now, Styron. Ooh, the Doctor quick on that first one. Completely obliterates Vera. Does sustain a lot of damage in hand, but Silence across the board once again. The infamous style whole play that we see from the Doctor previously, from Kingsman, now brought into RDA. They take up a bit more space. Of course, we moving back here. Trains all around, but no one tried through. Grumble coming in from mid. Huge! Just two of these players take up a space from underneath of tube. Another one is there. Win walking up, but Jansen is there for the hole. Mid area, orange, container, all in his jurisdiction as Tyron finds himself alone, running away onto A side. Yeah, it's a 1v2 now. The IGO needs to step up against two initiators. It's a battle of them. And he, of course, is the only initiator for his team, Styron. He's been pretty impactful this entire split. We've seen him be immaculate, not just with his aim, but with his clutches as well. He's really smart, but the problem is that Sube has waited for the recon to come back. He's got two shock darts. They've got the mosh pit as well. They clear out the close corner with it. They're really aware of the fact that, you know, they they can, they should be respecting Styron in this situation. And he's been taken out pretty early on. He was a little confused about the backstab, I feel. And that's going to turn this round sour for DSG. First round, the pistol goes to RDA. Love that. Just really keeping him in the dark and Styron... I think uh, you were right there. He was probably right, just worried about chill. being crunched from two different areas, trying to protect his back. Not sure where the swings are coming from. And you really got to give it to the RDA. They're understanding that in the previous round, the previous map, the biggest problem they had was that miscom when it comes to just swing outs. And they seem to fix that, at least in this pistol. So RDA this time don't have to really worry about coming back on an eco. They already have the guns available. Fixie on that outlaw. Phenomenal, we've seen him yesterday. Let's see if he can bring it again today. Oh, but if a calmer approach here from DST, they're gonna just walk in towards B. Once again, it is the MT site, but there's an alarm bot kept at the doorstep to welcome them. Styron's gonna try and sell out a fake, does send out a drone, and that's gonna allow his teammates to probably crawl in and get the plant down. Alarmbot's been taken out, the Doctor triggers the Nano Swarm, and Vera, oh. along with Juicy Duke at the entry, that's and that's gonna be a plant secured. That is a classic. It was so sharp with that, Vera still here. Shields in hand. Very adept, very aware. Different style of aggressive play. Spike planted. Gonna space Fixie. Gonna be ready for him. Spots him out. I think he does. They no! <laughs> Fixie is there, ready for him. Yep, once again. Check out danger, finds no one. Sube, out of the way. On health. There's out all of the possible nano swarms there. Fixie take out space onto yellow. Markel finds one, and so does Fixie. Not quite. But Jansen and his utility. Gonna clear out Juicy. Wayne, on the other end. Tries to put in a little bit of damage, but can't take more than that out. It's RDA. Good start. Looking very strong for this team. Good start indeed. I was a little concerned after the Doctor lost his life, but the thing was, I feel like the spike sticking on Styron was a little far away. I think that the plan could have gone in a lot more earlier if one of the players, the four out of the five players that were there towards the B set could have had the uh, spike on their shoulders, but... Sun and Dusted now, 2-0. Oh. RDA have got a outlaw. They do have a Bulldog, and the remaining are not on as strong of weaponry, but it's still doable. Bonus could propel them for a great start on Icebox. Recon's exchanged and destroyed on both sides as Tsube realizes that this A side is going to be hit really soon, gets back. But DSG are not too keen. They've given a couple of sound cues, yes, but look at that stack once again. They've been playing this for three rounds in a row. The four-man stack on A here has been 
so strictly followed round after round because they know that DSG will fall prey to it at least one out of the next couple of rounds. You talk about manipulation of the map, forcing rotations. DSG has done quite that. This cut of noise possibly leaves some question marks for DSG. Poison the Aldrin out. Finally, they react, putting out that poison, poison orb. Off. Turning off. No movement yet. The doctor holding on strong, trying to catch anyone in that mid rotation. They burst onto the side. Fixie is here holding very closely. Scoop it pops one right head, and Fixie finds one more. The defense for RDA looks strong as Grumble finds one more to his name. Trades on trades for both teams here. Man, this advantage for DSG. Jansen. 30 seconds left. Good at that hold. It's all about finding the IGL. Tyron all alone. He's been adept at popping hits. Takes quite a chunk of damage out of the Doctor. If he's able to isolate, not quite. Doctor, sharp as ever. And RDA take another round. A brilliant bonus here. Another great decision to try and make sure that the A site is stacked up with as many num members as possible. Leaving the Doctor alone on B, making sure that he plays a safe retake as well. He had the mid control pretty much to his name as well. DSG just not prepared for that stack. They did get the trades in, but I feel like losing out Vera instantly in the beginning kind of cost them a lot of trouble because then they had no more, you know, extra smokes to kind of play with, move around the site. And that is what caused them to take unnecessarily long-ended fights. And RDA allowing them to find their third. Last time these two butted heads on this map, RDA... He looks strong on attack side. It's clearly shown here. Is Jensen gonna catch one up that? No. Gypsy quick to answer. Doctor does find Vera in turn. Kitchen still gonna come up online and held down by DSG. He's gonna leave that area. Recalling Running, making a B line for a site. The weaker side for the time being. Doctor is close. Good on those trades. Grumble this time around will answer. There's a blitz rate thing. The doctor's hit. He goes for two, three. Grumble! The player on just the sheriff. Wow. Four to his name. A thrifty once again. Ref Thrift Arena. How about that aside? Thrifty's this time around going to go to DSG. And we begin with the thrifties again. Two out of four rounds. Thrifties. Yep, we love it. This is. Uh, this is this has got to be this is this, this probably has to be the most thrifty you know based final or region for that matter, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Valorant MYSG Thrifty 2024. Those shots got me off my seat. This is the Grumble that debuted last year when everyone was talking about the chatter all around, and this time a quick take to it mid area. Vera on this tube side. Doctor not showing himself. That is timing over at that end. Not too sure if they've both spotted out each other there. He does have some semblance of idea. The doctor, I mean. Vera, playing it a little bit more safe. Not showing his cards yet. Forced to move back. Playing a little bit more safe with his teammates. Fixie does spot out a bunch of them. He's still gonna keep his... Nah, he's gonna get away from that position instantly. But look at Tsube! I'm not quite sure why he went ahead by himself when Fixie was rotating back. I think it was kind of a setup that his rotation sound going back could have allowed Tsube to get one, but it's not gonna be the case. Utility exchanged, and there's gonna be a forest off because the Thrash is coming in. Are the attack ready for this? Twain says no. Swing out from the other side, and that's gonna be DSG trading off. Doctor alone in the 1v2 now. Deja vu. Could catch the timing! Yes, he does! Throwing it down the numbers, Damn making eight. it more even. Grumble goes up to the top side. Does he know? I don't think he spot out Doctor at all. Both of them just barely left. missing each other. He crosses! What on earth is that? I had to focus the Doctor, the big oh, brain plays, the clutches! And he smiles! So wide! Outplays on outplays, the Doctor delivers. Meticulous, sorted shrinkle. Whatever you want to give. Whatever you want to say. He brings it to the table. Yeah, that force is out such an early timeout for Disguised here, and they're going to have uh, a conversation about how to pro 
approach this game further because their movement so far has not been working. That A site has been really difficult for them to keep control of, especially because of that Gecko utility. They're able, even if that flash gets broken out, they're not able to actually hold off the swings that come on the back of it. And this time around, they had the thrash as well. Wayne got caught out, so he was of no use there. And the swing out from back end was not as good because they were losing players one by one by themselves. It was a 2v1 in the end, but unfortunately for them, the doctor had crawled in so deep to the side that he found a great opportunity for the first kill. No trade potential, and then timing and counter positioning was all that was you know in play there. Nothing you could do about it. Nothing that Grumbo could do about it because he just had no clue that the doctor was just walking back behind him. Found the perfect timing. And now DSG probably going to be focusing a lot more on that B site and mid perhaps because they have not found success on that A site whatsoever. I would like to see them do a bit of a A split from the mid region, you know, pressure, take out that, you know, turret and find that A site pressure to be released by making them focus on two different regions at the same time. And it seems like it might just be the case. The clear onto mid side, Vera getting caught out. Doctor has not moved at all. The area of mid has been under his jurisdiction. Retreating into Kitchen, understanding that there might be a push into Tube itself. More passive side. Kind of noise for DSG. No movement quite yet. And this is what RDA thrives on doing. Keeping everyone in question. Where exactly everyone is. Wayne pushing up forward. Both players haven't seen anyone quite yet. Juicy, the first contact. Juicy and Wayne, one each. Does he know the death from above? No, he doesn't! Mark L! And Fixie, one to their name each. And this is what Juicy thrives in doing. Being the Reyna, an unmovable force. Grumble over on mid area. Tube, in fact, he holds it. Fixie's here, tries to go for the trade. And Juicy, aggression. He looks good. He's coming online and he is on fire. Yeah, that Reyna took a little bit of time to settle in, but he's already found a great run for himself. Vera, once again, a little slow to start here. Okay, interesting. They lose one round and instantly a timeout's been called out here from RDA. Seems like they don't want to give DSG anything, but this actually kind of helps DSG because they would have they would have liked this timeout because they get more time, you know, to chat out what would have been missed in the previous one minute that they just got to talk. And I think that RDA might be looking at a bit of aggression this round because they've got four ultimates, right? So maybe Markel getting set up towards that A side to shut off any sort of possibilities. But the problem is that both the Killjoys and both the Vipers right now on this map have got their ultimates and the Sovas as well. So this is going to be a really hard fought round. But I think that RDA are going to focus on the fact that they're going to shut off an entire site. I would like to see that happen because that gives them so much more map control that they've been striving for on the A site. They've been constantly pushing. They did that their last round as well. They got two players uh, to push up towards that A site, both Fixie and um, Sube. This time around, it could be the Viper's Pip. I am anticipating chaos. And many, many alts set down at the same time. What do you think? Never mind. Yeah, I think that, yeah. <laughs> Markel's gone back towards... Uh, okay, they're actually letting go of B completely. They're focusing on a pinch, it might seem here. Aggression shown towards the A site. And they want to flush them out of here, but Fixie gets picked off from the sky. They punish, and they punish hard. Grumble for two. The sharpshooter all the way from a set coming here to Icebox as well. This time around, the Doctor going a little bit more safe. He pushes out, catches one off guard. But no more than that as Juicy trades him. Markel alone, unfortunately, his timing not on his side. We're not anticipating Spot how planted. overwhelming this attacking side and aggressive DSG was going to be. Good for one, gets an upgrade. Waiting for the right time. Grumble and Juicy playing together, a buddy system as you call it, universe. Slowly but surely making his way onto Nest, trying to catch any heads all alone up there. Moves out of the way, takes it out. Goes up to Nest once again. Playing the back of sight, DSG. Making sure to give so much respect to Markel. We've seen what happens when you don't yesterday. Oh. No eyes up toward heaven. Remaining. Grumble taken out. Time is on his side. Nope. Juicy quick to find him and obliterate him. Wins the round. Yeah, again, too close for comfort here. DSG needed a final player to step up. They missed the timings of Markel just kind of slowly sliding across the ropes there. 
But the pistol show damage once again, show potential once again. This time, no eco, but really close to one. And the ultimates still active, still ready to be used here. And I feel like they might just go for the retake on both sides because B, it seems like they've left it completely on the back of Doctor's Lockdown. That's exactly why they've just got the smoke orb from the Viper there and nothing more. Vera this time with the knives himself, looking to find what Fixie couldn't in the previous round as he's been propelled forward and the entirety of DSG following him up. Watch pit, clearing out the other side of maze, forced to give up that space. All the utility expended, but it does force the rotation from the members of RDA. Rumble had positioned himself all the way back onto spawn just to catch the Doctor would be crossing. He does find him in the end. That poison orb not allowing him to cross. You can see that pivot from DSG, read very well by the members of RDA. You should Back towards run. B once again. They rotate and there's a fake. Look at that fake. It's a fake ultimate set in by the Killshot. But look at RDA. They're not so bad at all. They don't move an fighting. inch. They don't care. They don't care about that Killshot lockdown. They know they're playing the right game and they are. They most certainly are. But will they be able to hold off is the question. Because here comes DSD once again. Here comes the Hunter's Fury and the pit is there. Jansen catches Vera going all left. the way to Snowman. Not allowing that space to be taken away. But it be spraying all around inside of the pit. Subei good for one with the Hunter's Fury, but Juicy will be good for a trade onto one more. Playing away from the lockdown. They themselves, RDA has one for themselves by some time. No detainment, yellow, Ten full jurisdiction left. of DSG. Gets the plant. Yes, it does go. Carrier will be killed. Our Markel. He plays the entirety of the backside so well. One on one. Juicy alone. He needs to take a spike. Can't win it. Markel, three! Oh, he's lonesome! He holds his ground and leaves it to himself to be able to clutch it. They ran out of time once again. DSG and time has been once again spewed down on this map of Icebox. We saw it once on Ascent, but even though they got the trades, Markel played it so smart. He knew that he didn't need to take the fight. He had five seconds to survive and Juicy had to this run behind him. He kind of wasted a second there, expecting that Markel's going to actually swing him out, but that was not going to be the case. Smart as they come, RDA, and they're showing why the big brains are just as good as the, as the fast aim. Oh, the battle of the offers. Fixie won't be winning that one. Vera swings up, pops his head. Three positions. No use onto that dash quite yet. Not expanded. Will be wasted for the time being as Sube. Got to catch two. One on pipes. Anson is going to be moving his head all the way up there. So, Crosshair finds nothing. Silence one again. This mid-round lull has been one of the most interesting ones as you find both teams sort of playing this idea, trying to figure out where exactly each one is going to be. As Vera, another one to his name. Three! Oh, he opens Vera. out the entirety of A-side all on his own. One more bullet in the barrel. Can't go more than that. As the rotate happens, Grumble will be caught out here by Markel, his counterpart. Clears out one side one of the site. Vera, a and four. Can he bring it to an ace? Doctor looking to deny. Finished. Yes, he does. Retake going to be hard. Many, many angles to clear. Many places to look out for. The least he can do is play off one utility. Finds one Nano Swarm. At least you know time won't be on his side. Lear used as well. Juicy takes a space to swing up from Wayne as well. Team play from DSG looking clean. Yeah, while it is looking clean for DSG, I cannot say the same about RDA. Giving off three picks to Vera on that A site. One by one, by the way. No real team fights being given to him. He was given free reign to use that operator as he pleases. And the Vera that we saw in the first map was clearly not the one that we saw in this round. He's getting a little bit more confident, and that's exactly what you love to see. Because he's been one of the best players across his entire split. And yeah. his team supporting him to get into good positions now. As once again, they head towards mid DSG, break off the turret. And RDA responding with a bit of a mid push themselves here. Oh. I don't think Vera might be ready for this. Oh man, Juicy and Vera. One each, a shorty as well, and the Guardian. Vera takes up so much space onto tube. Sube, no clue where to look. Window, mid. 
Free position there. Cloud Burst allowed him a little bit more space, but Sube pushes! Nice. Gives dividends. In fact, an upgrade! Vera, seeing to see if anyone were to push out mid, finds none. Wayne, just scrambling onto the A site, calling upon his teammates. The other members, Markel and Sube, we've seen them do magic before. We've seen them win this uh, player deficit round. <gasps> but to find one oh, hit, that'll be oh Wayne. God. Sube reading this very well like a book. The previous IPL this time moved into a different role, Initiator. And he gives the numbers before Siren shuts him down. Markel once again Sube. finds himself in a 1v2. Sheriff in hand, he can pop hits. Already pinged, his teammates know where to look at. Vera, his eyes on two screens! He's all down alone! He needs to play this very quietly! He pops it! Oh Markel! Once again, making! The unimaginable happen! Clutch. I almost broke a sweat. <gasps> it's those pistols. It's those damn oh pistols, man. Those God. sheriffs keep working Did for you these see guys. His smile! His yeah, knowing so smile and it good. happens! Yeah, he knew. He knew, he knew already. He knew a second ago that he's gonna win it. Sube, I thought, would be able to get away, but Styron was good to get that trade, but unfortunately for them, nobody was expecting the flank. Such good plays, such good oh decision. Mark L. I was really concerned that he would, you know, push the trigger, pull it, and get it done with. And then there would be a clutch coming in from Styron, but my word, this guy. And instantly RDA start off with the same amount of confidence that they did in the previous round. Getting the first pick here. Fixie taking out Juicy, the main man, as DSG in a little bit of trouble here. Bringing back hope into Malaysia. Wayne finds Jansen. Fortunate for that. Change in pace for DSG as Vera follows through. DSG looking very, very angry. Possibly a round that should be theirs, not in their favor. Changing at the tempo and the pace, they take out two already the members of RDA, but not Toxins. without losing one of their own. Fixie, quite low in HP, playing a dangerous game. Pushing up. This has been one of the most valuable things. One of the standout moments that Fixie has to offer. The fact that he's not afraid at all. Here. They're oh, spots the they ping timing. him. Not the best situation to be in. Timing not on his side. Rumble alone spots him out, and he does punish him for daring to go there alone. No support from his teammates. And now the scramble, the other members of RDA saying, okay, you were not expecting this to happen. A 2-1-4 this time. And it was good for DSG. They go for the hits, they go for the pickoffs, they move backwards, and then re-hit once again. Vera, the Blade's doing him so much good. Moves out of the way, knows that Markel is going to be close. Tyron to close out the game at 30. It's always the Drifties for these two teams from yesterday all the way till today. The 65 DSG. Once again, I, 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 I said the you know, phrase DSG might be in a little bit of trouble. And then instantly they get two frags. One from uh, Wayne and one from Vera. Of course, you know, because, yeah. You know, it, it's really interesting that the both of us have been on the same table right now on the cast because we're both infamously called the Jinxers from our <laughs> region, right? So yeah, it's it's amazing how far how far our powers can go, uh, and yeah, well, it, it takes us to the final round of Icebox here as DSG looking for a solid seven five half at least. It's not going to be a bad half on attack on Icebox to have a, at least five rounds, especially given the way that RDA have been you know predicting them, giving the reads as well, and Vera once again with the operator this time, hoping to pull off the same value he did two rounds ago. Silence. Footsteps possibly yeah. heard, and this time around, RDA with four already stacked onto A site. We've seen this hold before, but this time around, a lot more passive. Just reacting for that first contact. Vera, three rounds in a row, has been aggressive. Quick with an up, he goes for two. Another one in his name, yes, it does. Tries to go for a four, can't do that as Mark L shuts him down. Grumble is there for the recovery, Doctor. His taps, phenomenal. Again, RDA finds themselves into these situations where they're forced to clutch. This time around, it's the Doctor. But this time around, said that way too many times. DSG playing a bit more safe off the site itself. Forced to play a little bit more aggressive here. Doctor needs to play off that space. You can see the recons, the util popped already. Juicy, the jiggles come through. Wall bang on to the Doctor. They bring it to a 6-6. Switching sides. Yeah, I was I was actually expecting 
uh, them to not finish off on the 6-6. Six, six. I thought that, you know, the uh, RDA with the four stack once again that they had will be able to actually flush out uh, any sort of pushes because the minute they take that backside fight, they've got so many targets. But Vera once again with that operator showing how good he is. It doesn't matter whether he's on attack or on the defense. He's got the frags as long as he's got the aim. The isolation of the fights was amazing here from Vera. The first one really good. The second one even better. And then one after the other, they just keep falling prey to that one-shot weapon. Amazing stuff. The hero of that last couple of rounds for the first half, Vera. He was 5-9 and nine, and now he's 11-11. Yesterday, Fixie has been the biggest problem that Elevate had to deal with. It seems like DRG has done their due diligence and on this missile, Vera opens up with two. Aggressive. Going once again onto yellow. He did not pop that dash, so RDA has no clue whether or not he is or had repositioned away. Fixie. He has space onto yellow. Good for tree. Fixie on the side itself. He's going far! Ooh. All alone on the site! Markel once again finds himself alone. Markel, he's been great, aggressive, multi frat king as they call him. But in a one versus five, that might be a lot to ask for. Most certainly is, but he's not gonna, of course, give up. Spot Styron, finds the first, but he's already down to 50 HP himself. He's got a tail right behind him that's gonna walk in, but it's a little late here. And I'm not quite sure they expect him to actually go in towards spawn, but they are chasing him. Yeah, they are. Vera. Vera here. Oh, denied the ace. Markel. He knows how to take these trades, how to take, play these isolated games. Tap off his gun. To tell everyone where he is. Grumble looking the wrong way. Moves. And he pivots all the way onto A side. Time. Slowly running out. He can't try and do the impossible. Not planting default means he stays away from all those utilities. Tap by tap, can't do more. Oh, that turret. Oh man, but Vera's opening on that four all alone. The only Thank one you. playing at yellow. The guardian of B long. That is terrifying stuff. Yeah, really good. But I was a little bit, you know, uh, antsy at the last second. I thought Mark Yell is going to get one more, you know, good fight for himself. But Vera, his shots. Man, they're walking into his crosshair, and he's absolutely on fire. He did not start off on a good note, but the pickup from this guy to go from the bottom of the you know table to the absolute top now is 15 and 12. Multi-kills after multi-kills after multi-kills. Vera's absolutely back in the game, ladies and gentlemen. And DSG could not be happier at the moment, having their main duelist take up everything in the bag. Down, mid. That was a very, very ballsy peek by Wayne. Spots three, in fact, at mid. Pops one hit off. Expense of his life. Markel taking a more aggressive hold this time around, waiting to see if anyone were to peek him. But Swat out! Does not know there's another! He'll be punished! Knows that Subei is close. Rumble finds one more. So, for Wayne here, rotating over, Siron. One eventually find remaining. the doctor. These are skirmishes all throughout the map itself. Fixie, sharp on that sheriff. It's quite low. Despite that has an upgrade. Finding comfort in using the one tap weapon itself. It had some semblance of value. Can't do more. Rumble held his ground onto kitchen. Did not move a single inch. Once again, DSG given a little bit of trouble, but not more than you would expect. They are in the lead still, so this is not a map that's going to be done and dusted just yet. They're hoping for revenge here, and DSG know how to exact the, that very thing. So far, they've kept Fixie on hold. Look at him. He's 5-14. and 14. He's having a pretty rough game here. And yesterday, if you remember, Tash, Fixie was a monster on this map. Oh, yeah, he was. They weren't able to displace him yesterday, Fixie. The biggest problem was that every single area that Elevate had put their Leer failed to displace him. But this time around, it's different. Fixie not able to capitalize on defense. You expect him to pop up an attack. Not happening at all. It's been 
hard when you have a team like PSG with one player going aggressive. Maybe he does that. Not quite happening anytime soon as Grumble trades him out. But Fixie has done his job. Turning out weapons here, Grumble. 15 HP left. But he's been popping heads. Jansen, the player that we were looking at to clutch, to pop heads, the multi frags coming from him. They've been able to get some in the previous half, hasn't been able to do quite yet here on the attack side. Walking up, it'll be Markel. Finding Grumble, he was low, will be punished. Jansen as well, playing off his teammate. Win for one, for two! Jansen with the Bulldog, has to reload! And Jansen, quick to find him in the end. One versus two, Styron, a judge in hand. A Sheriff as well. We've seen tap taps for him on a set. Can he do it again? Time not on his side. As he rushes forward, perhaps exit frags might be something he wants to do, but for DSG, they have done a job taking three rifles away. It's already good enough for them. Is everyone's text to He tried to chase him. It was a little bit of a funny moment there. It almost seemed like he just about gets taken out by the edge of that spike blast radius. But hey, that's going to be RDA taking up their first buy round in the second half. And they've got Markel's ultimate already activated. And I'm pretty sure they're not going to be afraid to use it no matter what. Because RDA need to secure rounds no matter what. They don't need the frags. They don't need something crazy. They just need the rounds. And right now, Markel's Viper's Pit is going to be just as good of a win condition as any. Because they've got nothing really to stop him, Brit. They've got no kill joy ultimate right now. The couple of nano swarms that are there are not going to be, you know, fishing out too much out of them. As RDA once again on that A site, hoping to execute in that same way. But look at that triple stack from DSD Juicy on top of 410. All these utils, all this pressure coming through. Fixie takes up space, has to be moving back. Grumble capitalizes on that by stock. So Grumble for two! Tyron! He follows back! A quick collapse by the members of DSG. Playing off that first contact and completely denying space to the members of RDA. Veras here hasn't moved a single inch. Trying to catch if anyone from RDA were quickly just running onto the other side. But for RDA, there's still a lot of time to work with. If they're able to just really catch them up, play these 1v1s very well. They've done it before, but the alarm bot spots them. Gives an alert to the other members of DSG. Wingman planting. As Vera planted. playing in from main. They have no clue that he's there. Slowly but surely, the other members yeah. of DSG taking up that space. Here's the footsteps, Markel. Trying to catch one in the midst of the rotation. He does play this close corner. Finds Grumble. Quickly pivots away. Vera for one, and so does Wayne. Was a bit concerned of the 1v1s. But DSG, they had thought of everything before they rotated over. Yeah, they made sure that the one and only contingency plan would be Vera, where he came on really late from B main, and that was a really good decision as well. But the only reason why this round was successful for DSG on that A set was because Vera took up so much space on that B main side early into the game. And that confirmed the fact that this is going to be an A hit, and they rotated all the way. They had a triple stack there. Juicy was playing in a good position. Grumbo finding two once again uh, to show how good he's been. And if you want to see how good he's been, just look at the scoreboard no further. 21-11. Both the Vipers have been on top of their game in this uh, map of ice box. And Markel looking to be the superior one after he probably executes a Viper spit in this round. But this is, of course, an eco for RDA, or should I say, uh, one of the rounds that they usually end up winning. Aldrin gonna spot one towards screen, the Fixie bursts onto the side. This time around, he goes a little bit more backwards, trying to opt in to play a little bit more with his teammates. Perhaps a trade, perhaps just be able to trade off each other. Juicy will find the wingman, takes him down, not before Grumble finds Fixie as well. The numbers dwindling as Grumble, it's just popping heads, oh one God. by one. Win is here as well as Siron, as they completely crunch RDA in the site itself. And RDA has no clue how to break this defense. Finally, DSG looks to be able to take away the playground from RDA. Catastrophic 
the Viper Spit came active, but the only thing that they couldn't do was take proper ended fights. What usually RDA, what they do, they, you know, of course, depend on their aim in their share on their sheriffs. They're really good with the swing outs. They're really good with the aim. They're really good with the way that they isolate their fights. But this time around, it just wasn't the case. The one and only thing that worked out in their favor was the fact that the doctor got grumbled. That's it, because he would have probably mowed them down anyway. And I'm not quite sure why Mark Yell decided to come out of the Viper Spit himself and peek out because he was the one keeping that round alive for them with the Viper Spit. I get the fact that you want to swing out and take the fights against Grumble, uh, you know, as a team. But once again, he was just ready. He was in a good position. While the idea was there to make sure that the Viper got taken out, but instead they ended up giving him three because of weaponry. While, yes, they're good with it, doesn't necessarily work all the time. RDA, they've had a pretty good run on this map. Look at statistics. For RDA, these maps have been won through overtimes, down to 1v1s, heroics. And that was the question I had yesterday. For RDA, is that enough for them to overcome a team that is as solid as DSG? Inside will be the area of contention. Yeah, they're going to take up mid, take out the turret instantly to make sure that the pressure is kept alive towards that region. And DSG are paying respect to it. They're going to let them make sure that they're going to let them know that they're going to keep their eyes trained towards this side. But Vera, he's got the B side practically in a lockdown. The drone's coming his way. He's going to take it out. He's going to be spotted out. Goes back. Does he go for the re-peak? Nah, he's going to just fall back and retreat towards spawn. Snowman, actually. As RDA start crawling in slowly towards B main. The spike is here, by the way, and they've got the thrash as well. And I think Jantz is going to try and activate that to clear out the close corner to get the plant down. They're going to wait for the recharge of Markel's wall. Shark Dart to clear out any Killjoy utility up close. They've got two layers of Lurk here, RDA. I'm not quite sure the firepower on this B side attack is going to be enough because Vera taking out the one shot is going to be more than sufficient for them to stop this attack in its tracks. Markel joins them, and now this is a lot more convincing for RDA. Can they do it? Last 30 seconds, and DSG not really reading it completely just yet. Oh, Fixie coming up forward to the speed. Goes for a Vera oh, right no. as the Thresh gets him. A change in pace. Wade finds one more. So one for one here. No charges left. Fixie holding a lot of space here onto the mid side area. Disallowing any rotation. Styron takes him down. Trades all around here for both teams. Not the end quite yet. Lockdown, gonna be used here at the very least. Just to really flush out the other members of RDA. Lear as well, just to really replace them. Jansen all alone, forced to move out of the site itself. And for DSG, they're okay to go for the defuse and just chase Jansen out of the site itself. A save from Jansen. He can't do more than that. A good start from RDA, but they could not hold the site for any longer. Yeah, that ultimate. I, I was a little bit uh, looking forward to the fact that Mark Yell would actually push through that vi Viper wall to maybe, you know, give them a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, confusion that, you know, well, yo, well, hey, he's come through. He's going to get some kills here. But no, I was looking for Mark Yell to cause a distraction so that Sube could destroy that Killjoy lockdown, at least for the fact that, you know, they've got their Gecko in towards main and he could play on the back of that being destroyed. But they waited and both of them lost their fights. Juicy came in from spawn. Once again, towards mid they go, but this time, it looks like DSG are reading this well. Vera's already set up with the op towards that mid region. One's already crawled in towards Tube, the Doctor. He might just be able to actually carve out one kill here. Nope, he's actually going to go back. They're going back towards V once again. Tara does spot a one underneath Tube as well. Vera, gonna move out of the way. Enough information for him. Seen Vera pop heads here with the sheriff. Yeah, it was Vera. This time with an op. Waiting. Dashes out. It's a little bit more safe. One more shot just for a good measure as he moves out of the way. It's a bit of damage here. Vera gonna run up forward. The dizzy played very well. Sarah finds one. And oh oh no, my no, no. Vera took time that long. The jump. Planted. You should run. Can't do more this time around. The three on three. Lockdown gonna be placed down. Sube tries his best to protect that lockdown. Not gonna be able to. Be 
very, very chaotic round, but DSG, they managed to tie it up and capitalize. Once again, it is those fights that they peek out. The lockdown went down, but I'm not quite sure why they felt Match the need point. to swing out and give DSG the opportunity to take them to a 50-50 fight. He was completely unnecessary. I, I, I was about to scream out laughing here for a second, but then Big C and the anime battle of the decade there that, you know, top 10 moments nobody wants to see. Uh, that, that's, it. that's what it was. You know, quite the uh, you know, moment there. But uh, yeah, at the end there, RDA kind of giving away the bag by, you know, taking a couple of unnecessary uh, peaks or jiggles or whatever you want to call it. And that gives DSG the opportunity to take fights that they are going to be very much welcoming. Gives them number 12. And now they sit on top of things with a couple of ultimates to their name as well. They've got Grumble's Viper's Pit in case they want to go in uh, to, you know, completely solidify this A control in their hands. And Juicy's already begun the party with the first kill. It's just on the side. There's quite a bit of damage there for one end. Sube playing close to Generator here. Coming up close. He knows that's one on Raptors. But this high low hold from DSG gives Grumble the perfect opportunity to get two. Alir to come out. Does not one displace Jansen. Thankfully, Grumble is close for the trade. This is still holding in Grumble with oh, four. What a way to end the map. A 2-0. In DSG's favor! And I wouldn't be surprised if we were looking at uh, Toast dancing in his camera right now on his stream. Oh, man. This guy's... What a game. <laughs> Honestly, I I'm, I'm gonna bow on Grumble. Holy hell. I've got a lot more words to follow up that holy, but because, that, because of the way this guy played, but... <laughs> My God, he can frag, he can hold down a sight. He's great with his patience. He knows how to take control of isolated situations. He knows how to separate these, you, you know, the utility that he uses as well. It, just too good. Grumble took over this game with multi-kill after multi-kill. I'm, I'm actually not sure how many kills he finished on, but it, I'm pretty sure he hit the 30 mark. I mean, all hail the new multi frag king, at least for Icebox, <laughs> and all hail the new Icebox king on top yep. of that RDA. Unfortunately, this time around, not able to retain their title as king of Icebox as we mm -hmm. go into map number three. Now, that 